start reassembling. Um, I got the dust dust shield here. Kind of cleaned it up as best I could. Um, it's just gonna go right in here. And take a screwdriver, a little ball peen. Just gonna kind of work it in. about installing the uh, hub back on the spindle here. Uh, let me get your, your brake dust shield here. You gotta make sure you orientate this right. Um, this is aft. And obviously you want it flipped over the right way. Set it kind of there. And I cleaned the hub off, cleaned the bearing off as best I could. My uh, bearings are probably on the last uh, few thousand miles they've had some abuse um, make sure you throw your o-ring back on here it kind of just goes around here doesn't matter which orientation this particular goes you just want to get just focus on getting all four started first They're all started now, just start wheeling them down as far as you can by hand. Get your 17. And tighten these incrementally, otherwise you get your hub in the, the race at an angle. Well, destroy your spindle. You're just getting these uh, hand tight for now. We'll tighten them back or all the way once the spindle is up on the truck. It's not practical to do it. You got your bearing, make sure it still spins. I forgot to mention earlier, and this is a good time to do it, but when I welded the spindle gusset on, um, this weld right here interferes with your brake caliper bolt, or the actual caliper itself when it mounts up here. The bolt kind of goes in from behind, but I actually had to grind some of this weld back and then the caliper itself back probably an eighth of an inch to get it to where the holes, I could I could get the, the holes to align there. So we're gonna do that real quick while it's off. See how right here, this is where the caliper bolts up, but I had to grind that away, that bit of weld away, so the caliper will, um, won't interfere there. Now we're gonna attempt to get this spindle up here. Uh, first bolts we're gonna work on are the lower knuckle bolts and then the upper control arm here. So I'm going to work it through here, kind of bolt it up and then get the knuckle. And you also have to line the splines up.
finish torquing stuff down now. Um, the axle nut first. Wrench for this truck. It's 180 foot pounds, 175, I think. Obviously your retainer clip and then cotter pin. <laughs> you can get your dust cap. Blow it off. She's going pretty easily. Like so, everything still spins. I'm gonna go and finish these guys up here. Gluten tight. Can't fit a torque wrench back there. 